Elk Grove is a community located just south of Sacramento, California. They've created a rain garden benefiting the community, wildlife, the environment, and, believe it or not, the ocean, which we'll discuss on this edition of the Thank You Ocean Report. It's a one-acre site. In the center is a large plaza, and to one side of the plaza is what looks to be sort of like a wetland with a bridge that meanders across that wetland, and that wetland essentially is the rain garden. The plaza is surrounded by lots of mounds and swales and a huge variety of native plants and trees. Paul Mutin is Chief of Planning, Design and Construction for the Consumnes Community Services District, where the rain garden was developed. He says a rain garden is sort of like creating a mini watershed or wetland habitat, and he says there are many benefits to this approach. One of the major benefits would be prevention of stormwater pollution. You basically are keeping the water on the site, so no water is going into the drain system that leads to the creeks and rivers that flow into the ocean. So you're eliminating a lot of stormwater pollution. You're conserving water because you're also reusing some of that water to um, help the plants to grow. The idea of sourcing plant material locally so there's less energy used in transporting plants. And the plants are carefully selected. They're native plants, but chosen to work best within the various microclimates in the rain garden. The plants provide habitat for insects and birds, and the plants act as a way to filter pollutants. I asked Paul if the rain garden is having a wider impact in his community. Oh yes, most definitely. We have been doing bioswales as a part of our projects for probably five or six years. We've been using native plants, we've been using the subsurface drip irrigation where possible. By putting all of these ideas, if you like, into one garden, we can see how they perform over time and apply them on a larger scale. It's going to be a valuable resource both for us and for developers and other people in the construction industry. The Elk Grove Rain Garden is really a vision for an approach to landscaping, which has evolved in the last half century or so. Greg Gerhardt is Senior Water Resource Control Engineer for the California State Water Resources Board. The way of the 50s and the 60s in in the last century was really to build our communities out in a way that moved the water as quickly as possible away from the houses and the property and the other issues that could cause a problem at the local site and just move that water away, get it downstream and get it into a larger system. But Greg says this fast moving water also carries pollution into the waterways all the way into the ocean. There is a truly dramatic shift going on in the way that planners, engineers, landscape architects, everyone's together on this trying to rethink how we build our urban watersheds so that we mimic natural pattern. And the public is included in this rethinking by the educational opportunity the Elk Grove Rain Garden offers. When they realize that having a rain garden with native plants that attracts bees and hummingbirds and butterflies and another kind of beneficial insects and biota, that starts to integrate their whole concept of what their yard should do and how they want their community to behave. And so it really depends on the situation and the person and what they want to do, but there's so many directions you can go when you organize around mimicking natural hydrology. Which is demonstrated in many ways at the Elk Grove Rain Garden. I asked Paul Mutin at the end of the day, how does he feel about the garden? Oh, I feel wonderful about it. It was one of the best projects I think I can remember working on here as a landscape architect. You get to try these things out. They're working. You see people come. It's sort of art. It's technology. It's education. And then it's fun for the kids all at one time. Both Greg and Paul underscored there are many things we can all do to integrate these low-impact ideas into our cities and gardens. We can use native or drought-tolerant plants, reduce or eliminate the use of pesticides, and install efficient irrigation, such as drip irrigation systems. By the way, the city of Elk Grove's Rain Garden Plaza is the most comprehensive rain garden in the Sacramento region and definitely worth a visit. My thanks to Paul Mutin and Greg Gearhart. If you'd like to learn more about this beautiful rain garden, We have links for you at thankyouocean.org. I'm Jerry Kay.